Hey, today I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive in your Apple iPod 4th generation. This is a 20 gigabytes, although the directions are the same for the 60 and the iPod video. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need US, a USB Think cable, a wall charger, and a 364 flathead screwdriver. Okay, so here's what you do. Facing your iPod, you want it uh, on the left side, closer to the bottom than the top, about right here. You want to take your screwdriver, push it in, and be careful here because if you slip, you will you will scratch the chrome pretty badly. You should feel it click in there, and then push it down. Don't worry about bending, and then just lift it out. And as you can see there, a little gap. So put it in a little farther up and pull it out. And repeat that all the way up until the whole side pops free like that. Now this opens <coughs> like a door. Sort of it's got a hinge. Well not a hinge but it slides on one side. So the back pops up and then it's got a ribbon cable attached closer to the side on the side that you just opened at the top. And that just pops it just pops right out. See, and then you set the back aside, and there is your hard drive. So, it's not really attached with anything except the cable here, so all you want to do is pull the cable out, straight out. That's pretty important. Okay, so the hard drive, it's got two, these rubber buffers and a foam pad on the bottom. Uh, you, you're going to need to save the buffers most of the time unless it specifically states with the hard drive that you're buying that it has them. So set those aside. And uh, most of them come with the foam pad, so I'm not going to bother to take that off. Um, some of them will specifically say that they don't come with the foam pad. And in that case, you're going to want to very carefully take it off. You might want to use some like glue remover or something because it is glued down. Okay, so... That's that, and I've got my new hard drive over here. This is a identical match out of a different iPod, the one that worked, uh, but had a dead battery. And uh, the batteries are getting a little harder to replace. We'll make a tutorial of that, too. Um, so this is the hard drive. We're going to want to put the rubber grommets, or whatever you would call them, on. Now, the way to do this is foam pad down, and the grommets have notches on the sides that fit in with the um, little clips on the side of the front of the iPod. So you're going to want to put it so that clips are facing down, like this. And just slide them right on there. They should have enough sticky on them that you shouldn't need to re-glue them. If you do need to re-glue them, be really light about it. Don't glue them on glue. Just use like the minimum amount you possibly could. Um, I don't re-glue them because they don't need it. Okay, here's the hard drive, ready to be installed. As you can see, um, you get to check it to make sure it's all on there. And sometimes it does get stuck on top of this foam pad. You need to adjust that and push it down. And just make sure the edges are mostly straight on the foam pads. That's pretty, or the rubber grommets. That's pretty good. Okay, so you got your iPod here. Uh, it's make sure it's off, by the way. <laughs> and the hard drive, you can't plug the hard drive in wrong because it's got a little slot next to the pins and um, the connector has the male part of that um, slot. So you're going to want to put that in there and then just push it straight in like that. And then line up the notches on the rubber pads, which I put one on upside down. Silly me. Just pull it off, stick it on the other way. Okay, and there. So line up the notches on the rubber pads to the clips on the front of the iPod, like that. And then the metal tab that you use to pull the connector out of the hard drive, just lay that back down like that, like it was. Okay, and that's back on there. And now we're going to want to take our back and reattach the ribbon cable. It's pretty easy, just put it back on the way you got it off. 
and the screen should probably come on when you do that. That's nothing to worry about. It's just because uh, the obviously the hold switch control is on here, and it uh, flips that when you unplug it. So now, to reattach this case, be very careful. You don't want to just put it on straight like that. You want to shut it like a door. So start on facing the front of your iPod. Start on the right side, and just align that so it looks like that. And then on the other side, just push it down until it clicks. Now the next step in repairing your iPod is you're going to need to put it in disk mode and do a restore. Now this uh, hard drive in this iPod was used, so it already had a firmware on it, and that's why it booted up. The hard drive you get, uh, if you buy it new, won't have anything on it. So uh, you're going to have to install the operating system, and the way you're going to do that is hold middle and menu until it shuts off, and then quickly switch to middle and play, like this. And it'll go into disk mode, and say disk mode, okay to disconnect. And this is when we're going to plug it into our computer and do the restore. So let's do that now. Okay, so I'm over here on my computer, and I've got iTunes open, and I'm going to go ahead and plug in my iPod, which we just put in disk mode. So plug it on in. And now, the computer should find it, load the drivers. And iTunes has found it. And now, it should say, over here to devices. And it's in restore mode already. You won't have this information down here because there won't be anything on your drive. This one has stuff on it, obviously. Um, sometimes you'll have to re-put it in disk mode. Uh, if it says uh, sync mode at the top rather than disk mode, which it doesn't right now, luckily, uh, you're going to have to re-put it in disk mode. So right now we're going to hit restore. And This can take a few minutes. It says, Your iPod has been restored to factory settings. Please unplug your iPod and connect it to an external power supply to complete the restore process. Okay, so I'm going to unplug it and go ahead and go do that. Okay, so I've got my USB charger. And I'm going to plug my USB cable into it. And then I'm going to plug it into the wall. And then I'm going to plug it into my Apple device, my iPod. And as you can see, it's displaying the plug into wall logo. Which is saying, hey, I need to flash my ROM. But I need to know that I'm not going to die on my battery while I do it. And that's why they have you plug it in. Because if it dies, you'll have a brick. So just leave it plugged in until it boots. And this is where it goes and flashes the ROM. That's what it's doing right now. Now it'll ask you to select your language. And there you go, you have a freshly restored iPod, and it's ready for you to sync music to it, and enjoy. Thanks for watching, please rate, comment, and subscribe.